no. Oh, the notebook? Because why the fuck would you let Jack die? Jack was fucking. Mm, I just let that whole sink down, okay? You, you shove her off, and you get on the on the door, okay? I would say, I mean, why? 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 He risked your life, and then now you're just letting him die? Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, I don't want to create drama, but yeah, okay. I've never been a big fan of Chacha. And that's probably already going to get me in trouble. Yes, it's one of my favorite cuisines, actually. I usually get my usual. That's just a weird thing. Um, to say, my usual is um, a palette paneer with um, just rice and garlic naan. This is a long way did I even do this. Um, so. I don't think I have a favorite favorite. I just, I love diff many different types of restaurants and food, types of food, so... Oh, probably the Aberdeen Marina Club in Hong Kong that their restaurant thing because they still have I have I still have not found a mac and cheese that tastes as good as their mac and cheese. Their mac and cheese is heaven, and if someone can just tell me the recipe or just tell me how to get that, I would be so grateful. Like, oh my God, I've been craving it since I was nine, since I left Hong Kong. I mean. That's probably why I've been so obsessed with mac and cheese and why it's become my favorite because of them. And since I can't find that, it's like a crave that hasn't been fulfilled. You know, it's like killing me. I mean, I've tasted so many different types of mac and cheese in different restaurants and all these creamy recipes, nothing. I don't know. I don't know. But they did something to that mac and cheese and then... Amazing. I'm pretty sure that's a restaurant, right? Like a famous one in New York or something. I don't even know. Um, no, I obviously have not. No, I do not go on. Like, you know, work there? No. I think it was something really amazing. I always forget. I should, I should totally write it down. But it was something awesome. I think I either started with an N or D. But it was like a really, really cool name. Like a really cool name. I'm like, dude, I wish I was a dude because that is a freaking cool name. But anyways, it can be Ash, Ashy Boo, Beautiful, Vampy, Vamp, Bunny Bunny. My mom calls me, used to, well, used to call me that a lot. So sometimes, Michael. I think I would rather live in the suburbs. I used to be able to do Love Me Tender. But with braces, it's just so hard. I haven't been able to. I cannot sleep with any, any kind of light. I just can't. It just doesn't work. Not every morning. But every morning that I had been at Michael's house, yes. But I mean, he really likes to take care of me with his voice. Yeah, but I don't actually eat. I read t actually, the whole time Michael was here, I ate, ate and made breakfast. But um, without him, he's like, just a great influence, I guess. But I mean, without him, I just, uh, it's kind of bother kind of thing, but I, since I'm kind of used to it, I get really hungry in the mornings now, instead of not hungry, and so I do eat stuff in the morning. Um, but I don't eat very much because I get full really easily in the morning. I guess I do a few things that are personal. Not like, you know, but I mean like depression and stuff like that, you know, things like that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know why it's such a bad thing to talk about. It's, don't, I feel like in the positive mood, I don't want to bring that up. And stuff like that, like and you know some enzymes and stuff for digestive systems, you know, um, because it helps me like eat certain things and process things, like you know, if I'm having like meat or things that aren't um go with my blood type kind of diet, um, or my like that doesn't react well to my body. I usually have enzymes, you know, um, to help it digest well, um, medical conditions. But there's, I don't know, I have mental issues, but I don't know if that counts. Um, I have a little bit of an eczema, but I used to have a lot really bad when I was a kid. Um, I have Asperger's, Asperger's, I don't know how to say it, I don't know. But, um, it's mild, it's not severe, it's like basically autism. Um, and I have dysgraphia, 
It's like when you, it's really hard to process, like, things. Like, apparently, this is how they explain it. I'm really smart inside. I just can't show the world how smart I am. So let's keep going. Let's keep climbing. 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 Um, I've been to the hospital for, um, my appendix, sinus, and the appendix, and then take it out because I was for another five seconds from exploding and dying. Yay! See, the, the more you say it, like, happily, it seems like, completely fine. It doesn't seem that morbid, you know what I mean? Um, so, that, and, oh, and a few concussions, and, um, some weird things like my heart and stuff. Oh, and my fat anaphylactic. I'm shot by my first one that they had to put adrenaline two shots, I'm pretty sure, because I was basically dying. Great. A few other things because of something was like my heart was like really hurting and burning and just I was basically dying. Okay. So maybe only like not that many times, just nine times. Oh, and I think I need to get stitches up, but I'm not sure if this was a hospital or just in like a normal doctor place. Oh, anyway, so five, I mean, ten then, maybe around ten. Pretty sure I didn't get anything else then. I feel like I have, but I just don't remember. I'm pretty sure I remember, so let's just say ten. But if you ask me how many times I've been to the doctor, I, I wouldn't ever be able to count how many. <laughs> oh, wait. And a long time for, when I was a child because I had pneumonia. I felt some pneumonia and lots of antibiotics. Yes, I have. Um, many places. JJ's, American Eagle, Sirens, um, in Toronto, um, a Country Road, and a Lucky Brand, and Max. Like, just a lot of variety. Just, but it has to be a certain feeling. I, was, I really can't stand jeans. I like that dress on you. Yes. Like, all the time. And that's why I ripped them down. I only, But then, if I remember them, I don't remember them for a long time. Because my, my memory only remembers, like, certain sections of the day. So, if it's anything important, like, I keep a dream journal by my side. And I write them down. I like peppermint. I like licorice. Oh, and there's a love. It's called love, um, which is really yummy. Or there's the woman cycle. I mean, it's really weird. Moon cycle, woman cycle. I mean, it sounds like, you know, like period, but it's not, you know. But it it's supposed to help with that stuff because I get really bad cramping, you know, and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's made by um, Yogi, Coco Mayan Spice. Yeah. I like a lot of different types. About 15. I will not raise them anything. I mean, uh, into any religion, because I believe that they get to choose what religion they want to be. But I will teach them a certain um, religion from the heart kind of thing, like as in to always be kind, or um, to always be generous, to never give up, or to always conquer your dreams, or look as far as the eye can see or explore and, and just all that that's stuff that they should do or to live by rules like that or live by knowing that you are beautiful but, but like making sure that you know like that they're good people unless they aren't good people and therefore I will teach them not to be bad people but I mean I mean you can only be a bad person if you kill someone or you're or you or hurt someone and if someone hurts you, you don't hurt them back, because that's what I'll teach them. Because that two wrongs don't make a right kind of thing. Um, so yeah. But um, I think I don't want to be one of those people that you you were made to grow up and, that, and that's all you knew. And you didn't get a choice, you know? I think they should figure out what, what kind of religion they would want to practice or um, believe in when they're older. Or, or no religious religion at all, you know? Um, I'm, I'm not atheist, but I mean, I believe in Mother Nature, you know, and, and the whole um, Luna goddess and, and being one with the earth and just feeling ores and being kind and caring and being one with nature and I'm basically a hippie without drugs. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, that's what I'm into, but I'll teach them like to love 
the world, basically. To love nature, to love life. The heart will take you wherever your heart will want to go. To always own up to consequences, basically. If you do something and then something happens, I mean, own up to, own up to it, kind of thing. Like, take responsibility, kind of thing, for your actions. Yeah. I think that's 12. So it's pretty, it's not, it's a pretty decent time. Tumblr, how do you put I, but I had a Tumblr because I liked anime and my little pony and Wings Club. It was, um, MLP, um, my little Wings Club, my little anime Wings Club or something. It was, it was something all mixed together and I just, I don't know, edit for those things. Mostly you see and Misaki and Orin High School with Goku and stuff. I don't really go on it ever. I don't, like, I don't even remember the password or what my name is. So yeah, that was Mama's Losing It YouTube tag 50 questions um, that you've never been asked. So yeah, well I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed it, and you think you'll enjoy more of my weirdness, please, please support me by subscribing to my channel. Anyways, I'm just really tired and like hungry. I'm just like so light headed and I have this horrible headache. My mouth is aching and I just want some ice cream. So, oh, by the way, any suggestions for movies? Because that would be really nice. Because I've watched like, almost every movie that that seemed interesting. So any movie at all, just like I'm more into romance or like eighties movies that was one of my favorite. Um or comedy, rom coms or or ha it can be action but like with a little bit of romance, you know. I can't just do just comment below your suggestions, that would be very much appreciated. And um I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want more and wanna see more or you think you'd like to see more of this gorgeous girl right here. Okay, um, well, or my, if you want to say hi to my chip tube again, you can go and like and subscribe and comment or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Because that would be so nice. That would just be so nice of you. To just, to just, you know, join my, my Ash Brown club. You know, my, my little family of Ash Browns. I hope you guys are having a great day, great night, great whatever it is, wherever you guys are in this world. And I hope you stay positive always, or try to. And I hope you guys are just, just having a great time. And enjoying life. Of what we have of it, at least, I have left. Because we're basically killing it. But, you know, if you can find a way to help save it in any kind of way, like, Picking up litter that isn't even yours, you know, that would be much appreciated. Um, or just being nice or smiling, just smiling to someone. That's nice. I'm going to leave it there. To you guys, you the man, to all you girls, stay beautiful. I'll see you soon. I'm back with another video. And I love you guys and thank you for all your support to all my loyal fans and to the ones that have unsubscribed. I'm kidding, but I mean, seriously, dude, why? That's just, ouch. Okay, I love you guys, bye.